this next portion of the lecture will take us into creating a blend surface between the two primaries we just generated. This is only one method that I use. Um, I will demonstrate additional methods in other videos. But this method allows me to control the tangency line that I'm going to generate on each surface with one feature. Now since I'm going to be building my tangency lines, I need to go into my tangency construction work set. And the feature I'm going to use to build my tangency is going to be a circle sweep. The circle sweep is going to be with center and radius. Now, the center curve is going to be this combined. The actual radius, I'm going to generate as a law value. Again, another linear law. Now, this clay model that we have here, the scan off of the clay model, doesn't accurately represent the blend. But what happens with this blend is it starts off relatively small, and as it transitions rearward, it gets a little bit larger. So, with a linear transition, I'm going to go in there and start off with, we'll say, 20 and we'll go back just to 50. Close that, preview. Now we can see that it's going in the opposite direction. Basically the 50 needs to be back here, the uh, 20 needs to be back or up front. So I'm going to go back into law, inverse, and OK. So now that is my sweep that I'm going to use to control my tangency lines. Now, I just put in some arbitrary numbers, made it relatively large, so now I can begin working with these numbers. The front end, I'm going to say 5, and at the back end, I'm going to say 15. Now that I have my sweep in place, I'm going to go ahead and create my actual tangency line. So I'll go into Tangency Curve, Define a Work Object. Now that I have tangency curves as my work object, I'm going to do a couple of intersections. I'm going to intersect this surface, this, and one more intersection. Let me go ahead and hide my scan and hide this sweep. Now, as you can see, I have my tangency line as they run to the rear of the vehicle getting uh, slightly larger. Now that I have that in place, I'm going to go ahead and go into my slabs and open that up. And you'll see I have slab one, slab two. Those are two sweeps. I'm going to right mouse click, define a work object, and I'm going to go ahead and create a blend surf in between these two tangency lines. So I'll go into blend, tangency 1, surface 1, tangency 2, surface 2. I'm going to tell it I want curvature, and I'll leave everything else alone. I'll check out my tensions to make sure they're defaulted at 1. I do not want to trim anything. I want to do that in a secondary function myself. I'm going to select OK. And there is my blend surf. Now, this is a secondary function. I'm going to go into splits. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to define a work object. And for this, let me go ahead and bring up my toolbar. I'm going to go into split. I'm going to double click because I'm going to use it a couple times. I'm going to split this to that curve. Split this to that curve. And I'm going to go ahead and hide these curves. And to verify that I have nice 
clean surfaces, I'm going to go ahead and do a highlight line analysis. This is an analysis tool in Freestyle. And there we go. Looks pretty good. I'm going to move my compass around a little bit to check out my flow lines in a different angle. Everything looks good. Now, last check that I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my shading to without edges. And then I'm going to go back into my view lighting. And under my view lighting, I can adjust my light direction and take a look to see how everything sort of looks from different lighting angles. I can also turn down my values or turn up the values, the lighting and specularity and such. And I can use two lights, zoom up on it and start messing around with that light to sort of walk across the surface to make sure it looks pretty good. I don't have any serious irregularities. Let me go into neon light. And it gives me basically what I expect to see. A nice smooth transition for my highlights as they come across the surface. Another analysis tool, which is good, is what's called cutting plane analysis. This is another freestyle tool. Elements that I want to analyze, this guy, this one, and this one. The direction I want to make is perpendicular to a curve, and I'll just pick this edge here. Actually, let me bring back the original combine that I used. That'll give me a nice, there we go. pick these. Now that I have my cutting plane set up, I can go into uh, my curvature graph. And with my curvature graph, I go into settings and analyze basically a section through the model. To verify it looks good. As you can see here, I have curvature continuity going up and across. Now, for some people, they may not like exactly what they see. Maybe they may want to see a little bit of acceleration of the blend. So I'll just double click on the blend feature. I'll go into tension, and I can begin modifying the tension of this blend to give it a little bit more acceleration. Um, what I like to do, again, is I'll just use these inputs here. And as we can see, I have a little bit more acceleration leading into the adjacent surface. 